Hello guys, this is Deathler and welcome back to another Space Engineers ship review. Today we have the Republic of Mars cruise at Bymere by Flyger. Sorry if I butchered that name. And yeah, I encountered this one the same workshop earlier on today and I think this ship looks really, really cool. A few interesting bits about this ship, it can go in planetary atmospheres, so around maybe 1G and it can come out without any issues. It's fully auto repairing weapon systems. And yeah, generally it looks really cool. You can find the Steam Workshop link in the description below. Now, let's take a closer look at this ship. So, as you can see, it is hydrogen powered. It also has ion engines here and large atmospheric engines here. The ship itself has a very small profile, which means it can get in and out of small areas. And if you look at these little engine pods right here, you can see the creator has used passageways to, well, you know, armor up these engines, which I think is a really interesting idea. I never knew you could actually do that. It's pretty cool. There's um, a few decoys here, which that, yeah, yeah, that means that that can be um, deployed and you can weld it back up to make new ones. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You could also turn this into a minefield layer by changing out the decoy into a warhead. Um, as you can see, the auto repairing turrets here, landing gear, and it also has a merge block up top, which I guess is for docking to maybe a station or an asteroid or something. At the front we have the main rocket launchers, which is definitely the main weapon of the ship, along with a little camera for targeting, which is fairly nice. So yeah, this ship has well, everything you need to survive it as a military vessel, after all, it's armed to the teeth. Now let's take a look inside. So. There is two airlocks, and since this ship is fairly small, there isn't actually lots of stuff inside the ship. If we go in this little airlock here, as you can see, this is a bridge, and, well, yeah, got all that stuff. Within the hotbar, yes, we do. As you can see, we've got all the things you would need, which is very, very nice. Right. Also, this ship is pressurised, and, well, in here for at least, I don't think you can do it in the other area which is also very, very nice. Now, the other airlock is down here, as you can see right there. Squeeze in between this engine and some turrets. Also, the engines here are auto-repairing as well, which is a good idea, especially if you're in atmosphere and one of those main engines is taken out. But yeah, this is the other area. This is basically like a maintenance deck kind of thing. So you can get in and you can repair virtually everything you need in this ship. It also has some interior turrets to defend against boulders, which in my experience, you, you, need, you really need some of those in your ships. And yeah, this is a fantastic design. I love this whole colour scheme, the whole idea of the ship, just how small it is. And I'll probably take a look at the other ships in the, well, in the Republic of Mars fleet. Because these ships are very, very nice. And I've lost the airlock, which is down here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a fantastic ship. I am going to be doing a series on like building ships soon. And... I'm going to be taking little bits of information from these ships and then I'm going to apply that to that series which should be pretty nice. If you enjoyed the video make sure to let me know by voting for both the options in the poll at the top right hand side of the screen. While you're here, if you have any recommendations for ships to the view or if you have any questions please ask them in the comments section below. This video has been brought to you by Faz Fazini, one of my Patreons. If you too would also like to support the channel, head on over to patreon.com forward slash deathlyt and pledge as little as $1 a month to help me and the channel out. Thanks guys. Since you're already here, you should come and join our Discord. That is the number one way to get in contact with me and we've got a thriving little community over there and we'd be happy to have you. The link is both on screen right now and in the video description. I'd like to thank you all for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.